Jamie is begging me not to go. I want to say this, folks, you are amazing. You work fast. But I got a phone call a few minutes ago from a guy. I'm not going to give you his name because I don't want him to get in trouble. But uh, he's waiting for me over there at the washout. And uh, Pig Newton, along with L.E., Journey, and Jamie are saying, don't go, don't go. It could be a setup, a trap. And then Jamie goes, if you do go, don't turn your back on the guy. And so, I'm just worried. I, Jamie, she watches too much TV. Anyway, I'm excited and I'm also nervous. My hands are shaking. I can see, you, I know you can see the camera shaking, but I see the guy's vehicle over there now. It's about 30 seconds away. I'm going to run over there and see what he has to say. But folks, isn't this amazing? This much, what you've done is gotten more attention in two days. A video on Facebook, a video on YouTube, more than what I've gotten on my own in six months. More than, powerful. More than what local reporters have gotten in in a couple of years this is powerful I, I gotta go powerful. i don't want to leave the guy waiting thank you <sighs> i'm still alive you know the problem with jamie and myself is we watch too much tv uh netflix and hulu and and all the rest have us like living like and here i was talking to this gentleman and i the whole time i was like just i was trying to watch my back and i get in my mind i'm trying to hear what the guy's saying and we're sitting here looking at stuff and talking about different ideas and i tell you what i don't think i could really re understand a word he was saying because i just kept thinking to myself if i turn and look at what he's pointing at i'm gonna pow, get hit right in the back of the head with something and uh and i know what would happen uh at least from the shows i watch and the things that i worry about i'd probably get pushed right over into that water and uh right there in that ditch and no one would ever find me i mean no they would find me you know where they would find me first time the water comes up and that starts pushing across the pasture they'll find me over my own fence line well of course the dead me so you all think, oh, Lester abandoned us. Lester stopped making videos. Lester quit on us. No, that ain't the case at all. The county or either the mafia across the street, one of the two, didn't want all this. They wanted your phone calls to stop. And they thought, we'll just take Lester out and be done with all this. No, but uh, thank goodness that I'm still here. And uh, folks, I got some good news and some bad news. So really good news is the power and the influence that your phone calls have. Now, there hasn't been enough time yet for any of your letters to reach Liberty County. <laughs> they have no idea what's waiting for them next week when the mail starts showing up. But I have a pretty good idea that they did not like the phones ringing off the hook. I can promise you that. And in saying so, I was able to meet with a guy who gave me some good news and some bad news. And like I say, I don't want to say any names right now, folks. I'm not feeling comfortable letting some guys off the hook. And I also don't want to uh, throw somebody under the bus if they don't deserve to be there. And so ultimately, what I found out is that you really can't mess with waterways without having a whole lot of checks and permission from higher ups. Okay, I get that. Uh, I also found out that there are budget issues. I know that, uh, how do I say this the nice way? This side of the county is like the red-headed stepchild. And so, <laughs> yeah, can you believe that? Why? Go figure. That's no offense to you red-headed stepchildren. Really, no offense to all the red-headed stepchildren out there. The actual red-headed stepchildren. How do I take that back? But um, listen, folks. I'm okay with baby steps. Because this has been darn near four years in the making. And it's nice that in a couple of days, a couple of videos, your diligence, the fact that you've taken time away from your busy schedules... And you said, you know what? Them animals, those babies need me. 
and you've done what I asked you, and I hate to ask of anybody. I'm gonna start walking back this way. I, I hate to ask of anybody, but I'll tell you what, those animals, you've come to love them as much as I do, as much as Jamie and Ellie do, and uh, we could not ask for a more supportive, a more loving Facebook and YouTube family as what we got in all of you. And darn near, I can feel the emotions coming, so I'm gonna stop talking because I don't wanna be like that guy Y'all know I'm sick, right? Y'all know I'm sick. And uh, I, I tell you what, I have to swallow a lot of pride in asking for help. And I, that's the way my mom and dad raised me. And it's the way they are, the way my grandparents were. So that runs deep in my blood, having to ask for help. But I'll tell you what felt really good. Getting a phone call saying, come talk to me, come meet with me. And uh, I think, I thought to myself, after four years of trying to have me sitting back watching while other folks took on different fights and me sitting here not really doing my part as far as jumping into the fight and i mean even in this i finally you know make a couple of videos which is my way of getting involved and uh despite the fact that many of y'all sent comments and told me suggestions and gave me numbers to call and people to talk to and Man, a lot of y'all actually sent me copies of what you sent to our senators. Listen, I was just so overwhelmed when I was reading letters that people were sending to Senator Ted Cruz and John Cornyn. And some folks were sending stuff to the governor, Greg Abbott. And I, guys, I, I'm sorry. I, I don't mean to laugh because I'm not laughing at you. But what I'm laughing at is the fact that these guys, I promise you, these men who are getting their emails and letters sent to their whatever address, they've never heard of Plum Grove. And all of a sudden they're being bombarded with all these letters about this animal sanctuary that has been flooded multiple times at, because of a developer in a, a county that refuses to step in and, and uphold the codes and, and you know the EPA guidelines and, and all this other stuff. And you did that. And all of a sudden, these guys, they can't ignore this. They cannot sit there and they can toss a letter. They can toss a couple of letters. You know, they probably don't even see a couple. But when their staff starts pulling in letter after letter after letter and email after email, not to mention the phones that are ringing, they can't help but not look at it. And then, lo and behold, did I find out that the folks that run the fan page started some kind of a petition that they're going to present to i don't even know who they're going to present it to uh i believe this judge knight there in liberty county and it says that they're not going to take this anymore enough is enough and thousands of people signed that petition and that was just in the couple first couple of days and so i don't know like i said you know i don't know what's to become of all of this behind me i don't know the time frame of how things like this and how this gets done but i understand that bureaucracy it's 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 slow and getting through red tape takes it takes time and you guys are saying you know what enough is enough and and i you don't know how much i respect and admire that kind of fortitude and that kind of perseverance and just that fighting mentality and i and i it's just really good to know that people like you have our back. You know, my boss told me something one time and it makes perfect sense right now. And uh, it's so relevant to this. She says, it's not really important who you got in your circle because circles can be real big and circles can, there could be circles within circles, folks. She said, Lester, what's important is who you got in your corner, who got your back. And thank y'all so much for being in my corner. So no, I just feel so honored to know that you guys are the ones I have in my corner and that you guys are the ones that have me and all of the babies, you have our backs. I mean, even Ringo, I mean, I'm sure Ringo even happy to have y'all having his back. <laughs> Thank y'all.